Hello all, welcome to the Gazer tutorial. Uh, Gazer is a small add-on in Blender that we wrote. Uh, so we use it uh, for digitizing garments in our platform. So we thought we'll just give this back to the community as well. Uh, if someone finds it uh, useful or interesting, uh, you can use it and we can talk on how to improve it as well. So. Uh, so Gazer basically stands for Garment Digitizer. So in short, we're calling it Gazer. So this is the Git repository of, of uh, this particular add-on. So you can clone it uh, by running this command SSH in the terminal. And once you clone it, you get these folders. So I have this try 3 d Gazer folder. So this is uh, these are the folders that you would get once you um, clone it onto your computer. So what we need to do, the first thing is create a folder called settings underscore config and another folder called humans. So settings config folder can be left empty and for humans, we need to put some humans inside there. So go to samples, you'll find female big dot zip. You can uh, extract it. So there, there, there are a couple. There, there is a blend file called AVTs or AVT underscore zero dot blend. AVT stands for avatar. So uh, right. So you can just cut this folder from samples and put it in humans. So that's it. We have everything required to run the to run this particular add-on in Blender. So I go to Blender. Ah, so there's another important thing. So go to samples, copy this gazer.blend onto your desktop. So I'm copying it on my desktop. And I try to open Blender. I'll open gazer.blend. Let's go to top mode and uh, scripting view. So I have a script ready over here. I'll change this to, to the try 3 d gazer folder on my computer I just save it for simplicity so I come here I paste it I save it and I open the T menu in, in the 3d view so when I run this script I get a new menu over here called gazer main panel this is the Gazer main panel. So in the main panel, uh, so we'll see how we can create a new garment, how we can simulate it on a human avatar. So, so once this is ready, we don't need the scripting anymore. So, um, okay, let it be. So I start off by creating a human. Uh, so this is the female big folder that we copied from samples. Uh, I load the human. So I have the human over here. I'll just bring him down to the origin. Um, okay, so get it in auto mode. Maximize this. Right, so what I'll do now is create a new garment. Uh, so I say create garment over here. A new garment, garment zero is created over here. And we can see that back in our folder structure. Um, so these these are the folders we have initially. So when I so settings config was empty to start with, but uh, so when we created a garment, so the garment zero folder is created over here, and so we so just to explain some nomenclature that we are following. So garment is made of a lot of patterns, and these patterns are sewed together using the sewing springs in Blender. So we arrange them around the avatar each pattern. And when we sew them together, we get a garment. So we just created a new garment called Garment Zero. Uh, we can't rename it, unfortunately, right now. Uh, so let me create a new pattern as well for the garment. So a new pattern, it's called Pattern Zero. So when you do this, uh, so when I go into the garment folder and into the pattern folder, so we see a Pattern Zero folder being created over here. So this is what happens when I create a new pattern over here. So once the new pattern is created, so we just have one pattern right now. 
sort of what I'll do is create a pattern over here, actually draw a pattern. I use Bezier curves, Bezier curves. I go to the edit mode, scale it down to 0.1. Oh no, it's too small. I'll uh, scale it down to 0.2. Yeah, seems fine. I'll move it up a little. Uh, I'll reduce the number of points from 12 to 1, just to make it simple for now. Um, also, so making this number of points on Bezier curve, getting it down from 12 to 1, uh, allows us to draw straight lines, straight edges for a pattern. So I'll start off with this edge, it's, in, it's fine. The second point, um, I'll just move the Bezier curve a little, so that is symmetric. Um, uh, I think so. Alright, so let me select the second point. And start extruding. So one. Okay, sorry. Let me just move this inside. Uh, I'm sorry, I messed it up. Let me just uh, draw it again. So, um, oh, sorry. All right. So let me just clear this point and move this point a bit right so let me extrude it again like this let me draw a sleeve for this garment sleeve sleeve and the neck region I'm just trying to be quick and simple over here another sleeve uh, like this could be a bad pattern but you know just for simplicity so and I close off the last edge by selecting the last point and the first point pressing F so we have a closed polygon over here using Bezier curves I go to object mode um, I say alt C and I convert this polygon to a mesh all right so when I go to edit mode over here I see it as a collection of points and not Bezier curves anymore. So once this is done, I go to object mode again, I'll say update pattern. Now the pattern is updated with the vertices over here. And what I can do is create another pattern. Uh, so just to keep it simple over here, I'll create a new pattern again and use the same pattern. So this new pattern is basically identical as the old pattern. So I'll just say update. I'll just Make sure this is selected, pattern zero is selected, and then I'll say update pattern again. So basically what happened was pattern one and pattern zero are the same, identical. Uh, we could have also uh, created a new pattern, just like we created pattern zero with a different shape and structure. So, but just to keep think just to keep things simple over here, I'm just making pattern one identical as pattern zero. So once this is done, once we've created all the patterns we require, I can just say load all patterns over here. So when I do that, the avatar is has a new orientation now. It's standing in, on the XY plane and our pattern is still lying in the XY plane. So what I'll do is I'll select pattern zero. I'll go to the side view. I'll rotate it about X axis and bring it in front of the avatar. Uh, I think this is fine. And I'll repeat that for pattern one as well. I'll go read about X axis and then move it behind the avatar. Right. I'm right, looking it from the front view. So this is how it's visible. So let me move these both the patterns a little. I'll select both the patterns by holding shift and move them down a little so that sleeves align well with the arm uh, now so now that i've given these patterns new positions so pattern one has got one position and pattern sorry pattern zero has got one position and pattern one has got a new position i'll just save these pattern positions over here and uh, i'll just 
load all patterns again and when I do that again uh, so the patterns are lying over here the avatar is standing so I'll position patterns I'll say position patterns when I say that both the patterns are merged into a single object you can see the name has changed to default and these are both in single object and now the uh, now we are automatically in the edit mode and what I'll do is now I'll add springs between different edges so select one edge select another edge and say add spring one edge another edge add spring so add add spring wherever it's necessary uh, add spring add spring add spring Spring. So I've added all the springs that are required to stitch this garment on the avatar. Now that the springs are added, I'll go back to the object mode and say fill mesh. Now it will try to uh, mesh the whole outline that we have drew about that we have drawn before this. It'll take a little while because it's just meshing. Usually it doesn't take so long, but right. So we are done with the meshing. Now, if we see them in the top view, if I say edit, so we see the whole thing meshed with triangles. Uh, we can convert it to quads if necessary, uh, but I'll just leave it like that for now. Um, so we are done. So the garment is ready it's meshed we have the correct outline we have the required patterns now we'll just say prepare the garment so when we say prepare garment we have the meshed uh, patterns on the avatar position on the avatar and all the springs laid in the right places so uh, if we see so these are all these springs Right, so these are all the springs that we have added. Uh, once the once the pattern is meshed, it will add all the edge points. It will connect all the edge points as springs. And uh, yeah, I mean we have the garment ready. Let's just select all and reposition. It will adjust the positions so that because we have created the mesh, the positions, the the center moved a little upwards. Um, so let's try to reposition and that's it so we have the garment ready for simulation uh, so I just make this a cloth um, I'll make this a cloth I will enable cloth sewing springs and give it some force let's say 20 and uh, I'll reduce the cloth baking frames to 30 and also um, cloth collision yeah I'll just make sure the distance is large enough that it is not going into the avatar. Uh, it's point two. I'll enable self collision. And yeah, last thing, enable collisions on the human. I select the human avatar. I'll say I'll give it a collision modifier. And I think that's it. We're ready for running a cloud simulation. Let's see how it comes along. It's a big. So that looks decent. So let's see how the simulation has gone through. I'll open timeline over here. I'll go to the first frame and then play the simulation. Wow. So I think it's rough over here. So I'll just smoothen it out. I'll go to tools. Uh, with this selected, I'll say smooth. Uh, I'll add a subdivision modifier. So things look smooth. Uh, I'll go back and I'll re-simulate. And voila, we have the garment simulated on the avatar. Oops, I think the normals on the pattern behind are 
pointing the pointing inwards we can we can edit that as well we'll just go to the edit mode once we will deselect the front patterns vertices by holding on shift um, right and I'll say I'll go to the shading UV over here I'll say flip direction so now the normals are pointing pointing outwards so I'll go back and rebake the simulation free bake and rebake because we changed the night direction of normals the simulation might behave in a different way uh, you know we're just re-simulating it to confirm right simulation is done let's rerun the simulation ah not bad it's the same right so we have the garment we can see how it's floating over here on the body that's because we have a huge distance over here in the cloth solution the just cloth collision sorry so the distance is 0.2 over here right now we can reduce it to um, a lesser value so that we get a more body hugging simulation uh, but yeah I mean so this is the tool we developed it's a simple tool for making a pattern not worrying about the meshing and adding springs because adding springs is a time taking process meshing is also a slightly time taking process so we try to automate that within this tool so you can create the patterns you want stitch them together really quick and run the cloth simulations so that's it you can play around with a lot of parameters and cloth simulation to make it more and more better more realistic probably and uh, yeah I mean uh, if you want you can edit the avatar you can open the avatar in the humans folder as a separate blend file make the required adjustments and you know save it again as a different of the are in a different folder give it a different name so uh, so just like female big you can create another female fat by scaling it horizontally or however you want so you can play around with the tool uh, I hope this makes sense and I would really want you guys to use it and give us your feedback and you know things we can develop from here thank you